We are awaiting one additional board member who we uh, know is going to be just a little late before we have a quorum and can call the meeting to order. So apologies for a slight delay, uh, but we, we are told we will have a quorum today and we'll get started as soon as we can. Thanks. All right, thanks, Zach. All right, we have our quorum. So let's call the July 22nd Architecture Review Board meeting to order. Uh, Elise, if you could please read the roll. Zach Rust? Here. Jerry Jones? Here. Here. Bill Here. Here. All right, and if everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And for our board members present, any potential conflicts of interest with today's items? Hearing none, I'll move to item four, approval of minutes from May 9th. Move to approve. Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are approved. Thank you. Brings us to our first discussion item, number five, the proposed construction of a new addition at Camp Evergreen at 2776 North 31st Place. Uh, if that team, and apologies for last meeting, not being able to get you processed, but if you could come to the podium so that we can get you on mic. Uh, and just give us a brief description of the project as it's being proposed, please. So Camp Evergreen is an existing camp that's been around for a long time. I don't know how familiar with, probably really familiar with it because it has been. Um, but right now they have an existing pool on the backside, the north side of the building. 
that they would like to enclose so that they could use it year round for campers. Um, so we're proposing a wood structure similar to what's there right now. Uh, same type of roof pitches, um, same type of roofing, which is an asphalt roof. Um, siding is also a wood siding, a vertical panel, and also in the gables there's some horizontal lap siding. It's all going to match what's there right now. Um, we're also proposing to do some sidewalks around the building so that there's better accessibility to it. Uh, instead of going through the building, they can at least walk around to the outside if need be. I think that's pretty much about it. Super, thank you. Uh, at least if you can go to sheet. Uh, go ahead. Clarification on they're currently submitted to the state with skylight, you know, east side. If I could stop you, if you could go to the podium just so we can get it on mic for the viewing audience at home. So we have a current state submittal from Abacus that has a metal roof and LP mm -hmm. siding that matches, and then a skylight. These are okay. all max budget items for Camp Evergreen. They're mm -hmm. gonna be driven by their fundraising, obviously. So the renderings that you have incorporate those VE options of removing the skylight, going to a shingle roof, and matching the existing siding to match mm -hmm. as is. Believe, did you guys send a rendering of the skylight to the city? Yes, so okay. there's both. Um, right now, we have renderings without the skylights. Um, what Matt was just describing was um, alternates that if there are monies or a grant that will come through, we would be putting on the better siding because of maintenance. It would be a lot easier to take care of. And then the skylights, um, which uh, are an expensive thing right now, but if we can do that, that would let in more natural sunlight at the pool area. And I think those were, were actually um, drawn up in the documents as alternates. Yeah. And do we have that that we could bring up at least to look at uh, the metal roof? A rendering would be ideal. Don't remember seeing that. Is that a standing seam metal roof? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, go back up a bit. That one was a skylight. Yeah, that was a skylight. Okay. So you can see in the back portion what the skylights are. Um, I'm not sure if you can really see the standing seam because of the way it's drawn. Yeah. For the most part, with it being the massing tucked back behind the existing building so much, um, I don't know that those alternate bids are really going to make a lot of difference to the perceived appearance. Uh, the one item that uh, was a question that, that I had was the screening of the mechanical units over the storage area. Uh, I think if you go back to maybe just a couple of images up. Yeah, that one right there works. Over on that left side, there's the rooftop equipment there. Just looking to see if that's screened. Right now we were proposing it without the screening. I know that the neighbor to the left of this, their backyard goes up to about the front of our building. So it's not like they're right next to it. And it's also wooded on that side. It, right, Mark? There's, there are trees there. So there are, there's some natural screening there. Yeah, personally, I'm, I'm torn on that one. We, as a, we try to have a policy to get screening around all exposed mechanicals. This one is screened somewhat by the building, by the landscape, and just its site layout in general. So I'm, I'm kind of torn on this one. So as we approach a motion for this project. Yeah, I move to approve um, subject to recommendations. Um, I would say also with the caveat that no matter which way they go, the standing seam or the um, asphalt Roof, if it's anything substantially different, they can bring it back to staff for reconsideration. But I don't have a problem with the non screen mechanicals at this particular juncture because of where it's sitting on the property. Great. Thanks, Jerry. We have a motion. Second. Motion and a second. And that, as I'm, I'm understanding right, is for as submitted with the possibility of accepting the alternates with, with no concern Correct. other than bring them back to city for, for review for whatever is accepted so we can just make sure that nothing's 
out of what's expected yeah. there. This will help you avoid any additional fees for submittal. Um, and no concerns with the screening on the rooftops. No. That's the motion in front of us. Any further discussion? No. If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is approved. Thank you very much. Good luck, Good luck to you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right, brings us to item number six, the proposed construction of a new addition at Curry Corner, located at 915 Erie Avenue. Uh, if that team could come to the podium and make introductions and give us a brief description what you're proposing, please. So uh, there's a Curry Corner and it's going doing well and we need some room to put a storage. There's cups and all just uh, regarding the restaurant. So proposing small addition next to the building. Uh, there's 15 by 10 uh, brick wall with uh, glass and same uh, roof, uh, flat roof. And this one seemed pretty straightforward. Uh, the question that staff had raised was what that does to some of the exterior storage, I mean the propane storage. That will where be this moved is. to another side of the building. Okay. Any other questions for the submittal? Uh, outside of the propane, is there any other opportunity to move any of that inside or just to the other side of the building? Uh, other side of the building. The propane? Mm, not the pro outside of the propane. Anything else outside that can be move, moved inside, or is that no. pretty much the only thing? There's only one ice machine, uh, okay. ice storage, and propane. That's gotcha. only outside. That's it. I make a motion to approve as presented. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is approved. Thank you Thank very you. much. Good luck. Hope business Thank goes well. Brings us to item number seven, the proposed construction of a new addition by Torganol at 3217 Barron's Parkway. Uh, if that team can have a representative come to the podium, make introductions, and tell us what you're proposing, please. Uh, my name is Kyle Reiter. I'm with ACE Building Service. Um, we are proposing an expansion to the Torganol facility located on Barron's Parkway. Um, we have two options currently that we're um, Working through, um, it would possibly be a 68,225 square foot addition or a 104,225 square foot expansion. Um, the expansion would be the, the same means and methods we used to build the current facility um, at that location. Um, it is a single slope facility. Um, we would be tying into that facility and single sloping back off of that. Um, it would include the same standing seam metal roof that's on the existing and um, Butler shadow wall paneling for the wall panels that would be the same. Um, that does include um, accent panels and a base color for that. Um, we would also uh, feature um, accent bands um, running horizontally to the vertical panels as well. Um, that would be same as existing. Um, the, we would also include uh, windows on that south side of that um, to enhance the uh, look of the building. Um, yeah, that's basically what we're looking at. So, Big buildings like this are always difficult to get that balance right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep the budget where it needs to be, but get a little bit of uh, architectural interest in there. Uh, I appreciate the efforts you've made with this one. Um, the only question I think I had was on rooftop units, whether there's anything exposed or whether that's all internal. Uh, we would actually just be using Cambridge units, um, industrial unit heaters that would be sidewall mounted on the building. And do you know where those would be visible? Inside. 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 Yeah, okay. They're, they're inside units. Okay. It's pretty standard for going like that. Yeah, that's what currently is on the existing building as well. Do they include yeah. vents right there to the exterior? They would have vents on the exterior of the building, correct? They'll have movers. Right. Okay. The band to match the same colors. Okay, correct. Yeah. What 
what's, what's neat is, is that's actually the back side of the building that you know, Tortorella wanted to, that it's very visible, you know, so they wanted to make sure that the back side was, was appropriate you know, looking. Um, right now we're going through the firm pricing and bidding and all that kind of fun stuff. Once we get to that, you know, then Toro will be able to decide whether we're doing the 68 or, or the 100 floor. So that, that's why you don't see the architectural elements on the east side. Um, they've been growing like crazy. We've been very fortunate to be part of that. Um, and, you know, just kind of a life cycle here. It's not done now. Like, so they just want to make sure you know, the back side was, was appropriate. And then um, they're also changing their color scheme a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the, the front of that building uh, will be uh, existing one that gosh is only you know, a couple of years old right. will be uh, modified to match. So it's kind of a neat, new, fresh, fresh look for, for kind of the building. And, uh, but I, I should think it was so, yeah. Super. Right, it's nice to see business doing well. Yeah. Um, any other questions or comments? No, I think you should let the owner know. Go with the larger building. We, <laughs> we love seeing them, but we, we don't want to see them for a while. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve as presented. <laughs> and we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is approved. Thank you very much. Thank Good you very much. You. Good luck, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, our next scheduled meeting is August 12th. A 12, uh, a 12. Given the issues we've had with getting a quorum lately and that still being summer, please respond to Lene as soon as possible when she sends out the notification just so we can make sure we're getting a quorum met. Um, and hopefully you can all be here. I usually months. respond to Lene, at least not so much. <laughs> Uh, and with that, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>